get everybody is add one and this is face to face. I stopped by my parents' house to visit because I'm a fantastic son in the history of uh, whatever the word is for being a son. <laughs> children, step your game up. Step, step your game up, children. Stop leaving your parents out here to dry, man. And then you want to put them in a nursing home. They got the, you see, they still got the big old, damn, this shit dusty as hell, bro. Uh, they still got the big old TV. <laughs> I might have to give them a flat smart TV for their uh, for their anniversary. They've been married like 35 plus years, so shout out to them. Speaking of marriage, though, and being together, I used to be a really big serial dater. I mean, like dates every day of the week. I used to do the online dating thing heavy. So check. That's why I made the online dating video that I did before. If you haven't seen it, check it out. The link's gonna be here somewhere. The description will be on the bottom. In the bio section, description section, whatever. You can check that out, too. So, you know, I've been on a lot of bad first dates. I've been on a lot of bad dates, period. And I said, you know what? Everybody's always asking me, yo, 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 so what happened with you and old girl? What happened with you and this chick? What's the worst date you ever been on, man? This ever happened to you? So I said, I need to just come out with this and just put it in the video so you guys can get a glimpse of my personal life. Because I'm a very mysterious person. Some people don't even know, like, what my real name is. So... Uh, unless you obviously know me, but so we gonna call we just gonna call this one the Taco Bell story. So I was on Facebook before and I got a message, right? This is before Facebook Messenger used to be its own app. This is when it was part of the Facebook app. So I was on it before and I, I got the doop and I thought it was gonna be like somebody asking me to check out their mixtape. Wait, no, no, that's tw that's Twitter. That's Twitter, I'm sorry. I thought it was somebody asking me, uh Somebody giving me a flyer to a party because everybody on Facebook is a party promoter. Like, do y'all even have jobs? Who goes to the club at like Tuesday at four in the afternoon? Anyway, um, I thought it was somebody promoting a party. And then I see this message from this woman and it said, hey, what like eight wise? <laughs> and dudes, you know, when you get that, hey, what like eight, what, hella wise, you already know what it is. So I looked at it. I'm like, mm, OK, open the message. You know what I'm saying? I got I got more than enough Facebook friends. Like I got a lot of Facebook friends on there. So there's always people that I run into that I like don't even know how we became Facebook friends. You know what I'm saying? Um and she was telling me like so she she was telling me like, you know, your my posts always make her laugh and how she thinks I'm so cute. And then I told her I couldn't blame her, so not <laughs> But yeah, she told me how she thought I was so cute and how she was so afraid to like hit me up on my page or in my comments because she sees the way that I be roasting people. First off, let me tell you something. I'm the same way in person as I am on social media. Like, I'm a nice guy. That's why I always talk to help people talk to me. I talk back. I'll, just, I'll be on social media talking about whatever I'm talking about. You want to comment and chime in? We can have a conversation. The second you try me, though, I'm coming for you. You know what I'm saying? I'm coming for you. And that's just what happens. Like, a lot of times I'll just be making jokes and then people just be in their feelings, especially on Facebook. Like, people are just so sensitive. But anyway, so I told her, like, nah, look, like, if you just wanted to say hi, you could have just said hello. Like, I'm not just going to block you. Like, oh, who is this bitch? So she was like, long story short, we, would, we, would, we kept message, messaging each other. And she was just like, oh, I'm just going to cut to the chase. Like, I want to get to know you more. Uh, look, can I take you out? And at that point, I looked at my phone like, Rrr? it ain't every day a woman asks a man out. So I was like, yo, okay, all right. I like it because I don't like small talk either. Don't beat around the bush. Just tell you what it is. What do you want from me? So she said, <clears throat> she told me she wants to take me out. I said, okay, cool. She said she just had surgery, so she can't drink. So I said, all right, no problem. So out of respect for you, I'm not going to drink. So we meet We meet up. I, we go to this little spot that I know about. You know what I mean? It's like the little pool hole in the back, even though I don't play pool. But it's cool. So she was cool. We was laughing, joking, you know, whatever, whatever. Um, my homies came through with day girls, all of that. So then at this point, she's like, oh, yeah, like... Let me buy you a drink. You're having a good time. Like, I'll buy you a drink. It's okay. You can drink. So I'm like, damn. You going to buy me a drink too? Okay. So I'm sipping. I had like maybe four Coronas or so, something like that. We leave. And then she tells me, hey, um, tomorrow 
uh, I want to see you again. So I'm like, all right, you know, I'll work. I work like a, I worked like a 14, 15 hour shift to some, some, some crazy nonsense at the time. I worked like this crazy shift. So I told her and she was like, oh, uh, don't eat because I'm going to cook for you. So I have re food ready for you when you come home and you can sleep over. I was like, bruh, she took me out, bought me drinks, wouldn't even allow me to pay. And now she wants me to sleep over and cook for the kid. I say, yo, did I die and go to dating heaven or an all? <laughs> I was like, yo. So I said, okay, cool. Whole day, stomach growling, sounding like the cookie monster. All I'm thinking about is, yo, she about to get me. I'm about to get this food. I get to the crib, right? I don't smell any food. I don't see any food on the table. I don't even see anything that resembles anything edible in the microwave. Nothing. Not even a hot pocket. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Had to make sure there wasn't no nothing creeping up in here behind me. <laughs> so at this point, I'm like, you know what? I'm not even going to press the issue. So she's like, how was your day? Like, how are you feeling? My stomach is like... Bruh, 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 bruh. I know she hears it. <laughs> I know she hears it. But I'm still staying calm. I'm like, ah, work was all right. Like, I'm kind of tired. Whatever, whatever. So she's like, oh, freshen up. And I'll put in a movie for you. And I'll give you a massage. So I'm like, yo, bruh. This woman doing everything right. But there's one thing that she's about to do wrong if I don't get this food. <laughs> so I shower, thinking to myself, like, all right, I'm about to have some food ready when I come out. She about to have some food ready, food ready. I come out the shower, and she's sitting there, like, "Oh, uh, what do you want to watch?" And I was just sitting there, like, I'm actually just really hungry. So she goes, "I can make you a sandwich." A sandwich, bro. I looked at her. I said, at this point, I was like, you know what? I said, I just worked a fourteen, whatever, fifteen hour shift. You told me don't eat because you're about to cook. And now you offer me offering me a sandwich? Hell yeah, I'm going to take that sandwich. <laughs> Even though I was pissed off, I tore that sandwich up. It's probably like some cold cup bologna garbage, which I really don't even eat. But I was hungry, bro. I was starving. So she goes to take a shower. Comes out. I'm in the bed just sitting there watching whatever's on TV. Probably some Lifetime movie or some garbage. And she's like in the towel. I'm not even feeling it at this point. I'm not even like, oh, yeah, it's about to go there. No, no. At this point, I was so turned off. So she's like, she comes in the bed. First thing she says, don't think you're going to get, don't think you're going to be getting any skin tonight because it ain't that type of party. I, yo, listen. <laughs> I wanted to walk out so bad, but I was so tired. I was like, you know what? I looked at her. I said, you really think I'm trying to get the, in them skins after you sat here and gave me a sandwich and I didn't eat for 15 hours? That's really what you think I'm trying to do? I'm so hungry. That's all I said. I, and I straight up looked in her eyes like, I am so hungry. <laughs> like, So I sat there. I just turned around. I just went to sleep. She started massage, trying to rub on my back and this and that. I'm like, uh, uh, we ain't having that. We no, we're not having that. After you're gonna sit here and say some nonsense like that to me, like no, bro, not happening. Next morning, she up dumb early, like five, six in the morning, not cooking. So like, I think she was doing laundry or something. I got up, I put my clothes on, and I showed myself out. I didn't even let her. Walk me out. I showed myself out. And she's like, she texted me like, oh, let me know you got home okay. I hit her up and let her know I got home okay, whatever. That was it after that. I deleted her number. I don't think I deleted her off of Facebook because she changed her name. Um, so she messaged me like a month later. Nah, not even like eight months later, something like that. Like, oh, hey, stranger. I read it didn't even reply because I was just like, no, 
I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I mean, she was cool. She was cool. I'm pretty sure there's a guy out there that just doesn't like to eat that's going to enjoy her company, but nah, bro, like, mm -mm, don't bamboozle on me like that. Like, come on. And it's crazy because when I told, like, a lot of my female friends about her, like, offering to take me out, all of them was hating. Oh, what kind of woman asks a man out? She desperate as hell. Like, eh, eh, she got mad issues. Like, that wouldn't been me. Hell no. I'm just like, whatever but it is what it is it was a nice gesture i'm not even gonna hit on a girl like that it was a nice gesture it was a nice gesture she she took initiative so <laughs> applaud I, you know what i'm saying kudos to you girl kudos to you but still i still want my meal you know what i'm saying <laughs> i think the next day i went to taco bell yeah i think the next day i went to taco bell yeah and I said, never again, yo. Next time a woman asks me out talking about she going to cook for me or whatever may have you, I need to see receipts. I need to see receipts. Let me know you went to BJ's or Costco or Wendy's, Burger King, Chick-fil-A, something. Damn. Anyway, man, I got more first dates, more bad dates for y'all. Shout out to uh, PD Hand. He's going to be in my next Full Core Press video. So make sure you check that out. It's going to be on in like two weeks or so for All-Star Weekend. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my Celtics. Shout out to the Eagles. I'm about to check them win out. I'm about to see them watch the Super, uh, win the Super Bowl this Sunday. And uh, hit me up on Twitter. At Ad1. Add one Uno on Facebook. Talk to me. I talk back. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Let me know. You know what I'm saying? I know you've been on a bad date before, but don't you sitting here trying to act like you had a little go on dates. I'm like, no. Come on. Cut it out. Cut it out. Let me know what your your worst date was. You know what I'm saying? We can talk about it. We can we can vent. We can have a class. <laughs> this will be a group session. <laughs> anyway, yo. Holla at you later, yo. Peace.